ಶ್ರೀಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣಾಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತೋ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತೋ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಗುಕಾರಸ್ವಂಧಕಾರೋ ವೈರುಕಾರಸ್ತನ್ನಿವರ್ತಕ ಅಂಧಕಾರ ನಿರೋಧಿತ್ವಾಗುರುರಿತ್ಯಭಿಧೀಯತೆ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಗರಭಾವೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀ ತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ಯುಷಾ ವಹೈ ಈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಭದ್ರಂಗರ್ಣೇ ವಿಶ್ವಯಾಮ ದೇವಾ ಭದ್ರಂಬಶ್ಯೇ ಮಾಕ್ಷಭಿರ್ಯಜತ್ರ ಸ್ಥಿರೈರಂಗೈಸ್ತುಷ್ಟುವಾಗುಂಸ್ತನೂಭಿ ವಿಷೇಮ ದೇವಹಿ ತಂಜದಾಯು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಇಂದ್ರೋ ವೃದ್ಧಶ್ರವಾ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಪೂಜಾ ವಿಶ್ವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಸ್ತಾರಕ್ಷ್ಯೋ ಅರಿಷ್ಟ ನೇಮಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿರ್ದು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಕರ್ತೃಭ್ಯ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾಂಶು ಪ್ರತಿ ಸ್ಥಿರಚರ ನಿಕರ ವ್ಯಾಪಿಭಿರ್ವ್ಯಾಪ್ಯ ಲೋಕಾನ್ ಭುಕ್ತ ಭೋಗಾನ್ ಸ್ತವಿಷ್ಟಾನ್ ಪುನರ್ಪಿ ದಿಶನೋದ್ಭಾಸಿ ಕಾಮಜನ್ಯಾನ್ ಪೀತ್ವಾ ಸರ್ವಾನ್ ವಿಶೇಷಾನ್ ಸ್ವಪತಿ ಮಧುರಭುಂ ಮಾಯ ಭೋಜಯನ್ ನಃ ಮಾಯಾ ಸಂಖ್ಯಾ ದುರೀಯಂ ಪರಮೃತಮಜಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಯತ್ತನ್ನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಸ್ತಂಭೂತೇರಪವಾದಾಚ ಸಂಭವ ಪ್ರತಿಷಿಧ್ಯತೆ ಕೋನ್ವೇನ ಜನದೇತಿ ಕಾರಣ ಪ್ರತಿಷಿಧ್ಯತೆ ಸಯೇಷ ನೇತಿ ನೇತಿ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾತ ನಿನ್ಹುತೆ ಯಗ್ರಾಹ್ಯಭಾವೇನ ಹೇತು ಅಜಂ ಪ್ರಕಾಶತೆ ವಿವರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸಂಭೂತಿ ಅಪವಾದ ದಿಸ್ ಅಪವಾದ is a very interesting term because it is said adhyaropa apavada abhyam nishprapancham prapanchyate when we talk about the prakriya the methodology of revealing brahma we usually say that shastra uses many methodologies many prakriyas the srishti prakriya the karya karana prakriya the avasthatre prakriya the pancha kosha prakriya all these like drik drishya these are called methodologies by which the brahman is revealed but if you actually look at them they are all just other manifestations of the adhyaropa apavada prakriya only every prakriya is nothing but adhyaropa apavada the whole karanatvam attributed to brahman ಜನ್ಮಾಧ್ಯ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಸೂತ್ರ ಅಥವಾ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ಜನ್ಮಾಧ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಸೂತ್ರ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಉಪನಿಷದ್ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಯಥೋ ವಾ ಇಮಿ ಭೂತಿ ಜಾಯಂತೆ ಯನ ಜಾತಿ ಜೀವಂತ ಯತ್ಪ್ರಯಂತ ಅಭಿಶಂಶಂತ ತದ್ ವಿಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ತದ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇತಿ so that from which the whole jagat is born or all bhutas are born know that to be the brahman hence the the definition of brahman is that which is the cause of this world the karanatvam 
now the karanatvam is in a, is it just the upadana karanam or nimitta karanam sahakari karanam all this these are looked at and how does the brahman become the karanam for this jagat is first spoken about then that whole karanatvam is negated because karyam is negated now the question naturally comes why should shruti superimpose so many things because already i am taking various things as true like whatever i am objectifying now shruti adds a few more like heaven and all that and also brings up a new thing called brahman and then says it is the karanam and then it says that brahman is atma and then it negates all the karya jagat why should it do because that is the only way to reveal what is the atma swarupa in its real nature otherwise what happens that if you say that brahman or your atma or ishwara whatever this the karanam is separate elsewhere then it is not advaita because there is a separate jagat and then there is a separate brahman now then if there is there is no advayam brahma then the moksha itself whatever shruti is talking about is not possible so this whole jagat has to be accounted for and understood properly for you to understand what is brahman and for that the whole jagat is shown as attribute of brahman everything is an attribute the things you objectify your mind the emotions all these are shown as attributes of brahman which they are really in some sense empirically they are kind of attributes and then it is shown they are no not really <clears throat> independent objects but name and form only and they are not intrinsic attribute therefore there is no reality to it and therefore the the brahma siddhi takes place <clears throat> this is the way shruti reveals in order to reveal it it has to first do the adhyaropa and then do the apavada the whole sambhuti hiranyagarbha is spoken of by shruti only and then an apavada is done in the context of the the avidya and uh, sambhuti upasana and to show that the srishti itself is not real so that was the whole ajati vada there was one question which came up what is this ajati the unmanifested srishti so the srishti in fact the next verse also is going to talk about it in detail which we started in the previous session so the srishti as a prakriya includes the negation as well so this the the srishta jagat there is a karanam the world is created one itself is told by shruti only i think i spoke about it in the last session we don't know it as a creation we assume because we see everything in the world as being created most of the things not everything the sun and the uh, mountains we don't know maybe mountains because we see some lava coming out somewhere and it solidifying into mountain so we can say that okay these mountains also would have come about the other thing science says that since there is a ongoing change so it should have had a beginning for many of the things okay and the whole jagat also the big bang is spoken about and all that we saw all those things no other than this uh, Uh, hypothesis that science makes shruti also talks about this 
whole jagat being a karyam or a creation. Okay, this was even much before all this science, modern science as it is known, came about. So that when whenever that was revealed, which we say is anadi again, it was the only one which spoke about jagat as a created entity. Okay, that means a karanatvam is there in Brahman and karyavatvam is there in the create in the jagat. It is a karyam. It is a created entity. Is how Shruti introduced it. The whole karya karana. It was not a common. That's why Bhashyagara also said, what is the purpose for Shruti to say it is a karya? If it is not for moksha, which it promises. Shruti promises moksha, right? Brahma with apnoti param. The moksha, muchyate and all that it talks about. So moksha is a promise. So other than it being the reason for moksha, there is no other purpose for the srishti to be spoken about. Like that, it was Nishprayojanatvam was also spoken about. So this whole Sambhuti Apavada, quickly to recap, was contested by Puro Pakshi by saying that the whole thing is about a Samuchaya. The Samuchaya Vidhanam is what is the purpose. It is not about negating the Srishti, but that whole context is Devata Darshanam and the Karma, Vinasha Sabdavachya Karma and Sambhuti Vishaya, Devata Darshana, which is Upasana. So the Upasanam and Karma has to be linked to this person, Samuchaya Vidhanarthaha. You should not just Sambhuti alone, Upasana alone is not enough. The karma alone is not enough. Both of them have to be there for the person. And that is for what? Mrityoho Atitaranartha. So he said, Vinashakyasya karmanaha swabhavika ajnana pravritti rupasya mrityoho. The mrityu there is about swabhavika ajnana pravritti. The swabhavika pravritti itself is mrityu. That's all. Because you are losing your surupa because you are getting lost in the external things and you are atma hani is being done okay atma gha the one who is losing the infinite which is your surupa that surupa is not available to you because you are superimposing all the limitation on yourself that I am this individual, I am Sukhi, I am Dukhi. All this individuality is being superimposed upon you, though they are not your true nature. When you are the infinite, when you are free of all these limitations, and the implications of the limitation, which is in the form of sorrow, unhappiness, anger, and all these things are because of what? Because of your identity with this individuality. When you identify yourself with the limited individuality, which includes your body, mind, everything, all the problems of the mind, all the problems of the body and things associated with that body, which includes the relationships and all these things, they all are assumed to be your own qualities. And when you superimpose all this as yourself, then there is Sukha Dukkha. And it is also all the time changing. Every moment you are running after a different thing. That is called Mrityu. Because you are not, you are letting go of your infinite Surupa and you are becoming one which is changing. All the time changing. Changing in the form of thoughts, in the form of reactions to what happens in the Jagat. That is called Swabhavika Ajnana Pravritti. It is naturally there. 
It's not something that you as an individual has chosen. It is there for every individual. And that is a Swabhavika Ajnana Pravirti, which is the Mrityu. And that Mrityu is what you come out of, Atitarana. So when we say this Jnanam, a Jnani transcends Mrityu, it is not like one time after the body falls, he doesn't get another birth and all that. Okay, in fact, that as you are living, you are out of death. That is, the Mrityu is like, the one of becoming and this mrityu what takes you to that final mrityu also therefore this is swabhavika ajnana pravritti rupa mrityu very clear shastra is clear bhashyakara is also very clear so when mrityu taranam means amritatvam means what at this moment you own up your swarupa that's all when you own up your swarupa you are already amrita when you are superimposing all limitations, then Mrityu is there every moment. And that is gained through the Karma and Devata Darshana. Devata Darshana Karma Samuchayasya Purusha Samskara Arthasya What is Samskara? Making it pure. Pure from what? Karma Phala Raga Pravirti is removed. All the Raga Dvesha and all these things go away because you are doing Karma Yoga and this Devata Darshana Rupa, Anushtana and all that. This is where the whole Upasana is very important and Karma Yoga is important because they are the ones which do the Samskara which makes you qualified for this jnana. Karma pala raga pravirti rupasya sadhya sadhana ishanadvaya lakshanasya. So this ishanadvayam is sadhyam and sadhana. So there is a ishana in both, in way you do things and the end. Mrityoha atitaranartatvam. Okay. Evam hi ishanadvaya rupat mrityoho ashuttehe. Vyuktaha Purushaha Samskritaha Syat. This Mrityu is Ishnadvayam, which is Swabhavika Pravirti. <coughs> and that Swabhavika Pravirti, once it is overcome, then the person becomes Shuddhe Mrityoha Ashuddehe Vyuktaha Purushaha Samskritaha Syat. The person is called one who has gained Chitta Shuddhi Adhikritaha. Qualified. Okay, this is what people, when nowadays we talk about the sadhana, and he is a very grown up sadhak. All these things we see, we hear people use in spiritual parlance. They'll say that he is a very advanced sadhak. This advanced and all is like in this context only. People use it to show that. There is more and more, you know, dispassion towards things, and the person is able to hold the hold oneself in this anushtana. That is called samskara, ha, samskrita, ha, ataha, mrityo, atitarana, artha, devata, darshana, karma, samuchya, lakshana, hi, avidya. This is avidya. Avidya means karma, both are karma only. The yajna, yaga, the karma is also karma and upasana also is karma. It's a manasa karma. So, so in uh, Vaidika karma, it's kaikam, vachikam, manasam. So you chant, you also do yajna and then your mind is also like in it. Either, you know, you have to do a devata, dhyana and then do the yajna and all that. So, the, but in the case of Upasana, it is purely Manasa Karma. And uh, this Ahangraha, and there are many Upasanas which are there. So, here Devata Darshana Rupa is one particular context he is talking about. But we can also take it in a very generic way that any kind of Upasana which 
comes after the karma yoga. So both are called avidya because they are karma. Avidya means here karma we already saw. Avidyaya mrityam tirtva vidyaya amrita mashnuka. So this avidyaya is this karma and the upasana overcoming the mrityu which is in the form of one of becoming. So relatively you become ready and then the jnanam is the vidya. So brahma vidya can be taken as vidya. Or in this context, this avidyaya is the karma and vidyaya is devata upasana rupa, devata darshana rupa upasana. Na. Amrita Mashnute, the person gains certain siddhis, is what is told. Eshnadve lakshana avidyaya mrityo ho atitirnasya viraktasya upanishad shastra artha alochana parasya. This alochana of Upanishad Rupa Shastra. Okay, what that that is Upasana. Viraktasya Upanishad Shastra Artha Alochana Parasya. Mrityoho Atitirnasya. So this person who is qualified and is in the state of Upasana of Vichara. Alochana is Vichara. Nantariyaka Paramatma Yekatva Vidyodpati. The Vidyodpati is the effect of result of what? Alochana. Upanishad. Shastra Artha Alochana only. Paramatma Yekatva Vidya. And that Vidyodpati is Jnanam here. The Jnanam Paramatma Yekatva Jnanodpati you have to take. Vidya means Jnanam by the means of Shastra Artha Alochana. So this whatever we are doing here, the Shravanam is called Shastra Artha Alochana and Tadeva Mukti. So it, the, the Jiva himself or herself or itself is product of this Avidya. Therefore, the Jiva can never get liberated by itself. The Jiva cannot go and seek a knowledge and get liberated because the Jiva itself is a product of Avidya. Therefore, an independent means of knowledge only can liberate. So, there is no way that who am I, who am I and all will work because the jiva, like I said, the itself is a karya. So, the karya jiva, how will it remove itself? So, because it is, it has to remove its karanam. So, only independent shruti only can work. Therefore, it is Ishwara Anugraha only that a person comes to shruti and gets liberated. Everything is Sheshwara Anugraha Deva because this Jeevatva uh, Rupa Ajnana and Ajnana Karyam is the whole Jagat including the Jeeva. Therefore, Parama, Paramatma Yekatva Vidyodpati How does it happen? Upanishad Shastra Alochana Parasya Shravana Parasya Okay. Purva Bhavinim <clears throat> avidya mapekshya paschad bhavinim brahma vidya amrutatva sadhana ekena purushena sambadhyamana avidya ya samuchi yade idi uchade so ekena eva see avidya ya mrtim tirtva vidya ya amrta mashnute avidya ya means through karma by whom the same person ekena purushena for the one Avidyaya, the same person, Avidyaya Tirtva, the Karma Yoga upa, Upasana Margena, Upasanaya, Mrityum Tirtva, Vidyaya Amrita Mashnute means it is the same person. It is not Devadatta, Mrityum Tirtva, Swamadatta, Amrita Mashnute. No. Um, in Bhagavad Gita, Asanga Shastrena Dridena Chitwa Tataf Padam Tat Parimar Gidev. Same thing. Chitwa. That there the same person by cutting the the, the Asanga Shastrena Dridena from through the Asanga Shastra, the Drida Sangha is broken 
and that same person only gains jnanam. Similarly, here also, ekena purushena sambadhyamana. The same person only amritatva sadhana bhutena sadhanaya okay, by avidyaya samuchiyate. So, the, the one who gains vidya is the one who also removes the vidya. Purva bhavini ma vidya ma pekshya paschad bhavini in brahma vidya. This Brahma Vidya comes later for the same person. Okay. And he says, Ataha, Anyartatvad, Amrutatva Sadhanam, Brahma Vidya Mapekshya, Nindartha Eva Bhavati. Sambhuti Apavadaha, Yedyapi, Ashuddhi Vyoga Hetu, Atanishtatvad. What is the focus of the Puru Bhagata Vidya? This whole Upasana and Karmakanda is not Brahma Vidya. It is Samskara. The Samskara, it is essential. It is for the same person, no doubt. Yadyapi Ashuddhi Viyoga Hetuhu. Even though it is meaningful, but it is not focused on Brahma Vidya. Therefore, Nindartatvat. Ataha, if it is true, then there won't be any Ninda. But since it is dismissed, it cannot be true. Ataha eva sambutehe apavadati sambutehe apekshika meva sattvam. This is apekshika sattvam. It is not atyanta sate. At the same time, it is also not atyanta asate. If it is atyanta asate, you, you don't need to talk about it. Why should you talk about it? Because you are talking about it, you can't say it is tucham. Nobody is going to talk about rabbit's horn. People will talk only about things which are real. So here it is being spoken about. But if it is true, then negation is not possible fully. Therefore, it has to be told it is Sadasadhyam Anirvachaniyam, like your Maya Jagat. We don't say it is it is doesn't exist at all. If you say it doesn't exist, then why are you talking about it? So it is empirically real, is what we say. Relate to mithya, that is a word used. Because there is a pratiti, it is seen. Okay, But when the vichara is done, it goes away. Therefore, it is not a paramartika satyam, it is only vyavaharika satyam. A Vyavaharika Satyam doesn't need a creation. There is no creation. Therefore, the whole Ajati. Because Swarupataha, in your recognition of Brahman, cognition of Brahman, there is no Jagat. Okay, it is independent. In fact, when you are cognizing Brahman, there is no Jagat cognized along with it. But, no Jagat is cognizable without Brahma cognition. Nothing is cognizable. There is nothing which is there without it being cognized along with Brahma. That is why it is called Upadana Karanam. In anything which is seen, Brahman is also there. Pratibodha Viditam. Every cognition. The Surupa is there, which is Brahma. Therefore, this there is no complete negation. Apekshika Sattva. That is the word he used. Sambhutehe Apavadat. Sambhutehe Apekshika Meva Sattvam. I am again taking this because people's feedback of... Uh, a little lack of clarity on these portions, so I am spending some time. Okay. Ataha, and we didn't also get into some of these aspects in the last session, like Apekshikattva Mandal in a detailed fashion. So, Sambhutehe Apavadati, Sambhutehe Apekshikameva Sattvamiti, Paramartha Sadatma Yekattva Apekshya, Amrudakyaha Sambhavaha Pratishidyate. With, with, with the standpoint of Paramartika Sati. So from this, like from the standpoint of 
play the pot is negated because pot is neither an intrinsic attribute of clay nor is it extrinsic to clay that there is a separate entity called pot which is sitting on the clay nor whenever there is a clay there is a pot therefore it is neither intrinsic nor extrinsic it is only a superimposition name and form of clay similarly here also again don't think like a brahman also is like a clay only a material cause which has taken a new shape like this the example there is what is the relative status of pot with reference to the clay similarly here paramartha sadatma sadatma ekatvam apekshya sadatma ekatvam apekshya that is paramartika sadswarupa ekatva swarupam apekshya from the standpoint of the one brahma which alone exists which is the real truth of what is paramartha sat that apekshya ekatvam apekshya in from that standpoint okay the sambhavaha pratishidhyate amrutakya the hiranyagarbha the srishti is negated because in the cognition in the recognition of the paramartha sat there is no srishti there is no truth in duality it doesn't have its own existence but there is a pratiti you are seeing therefore there is an empirical reality it's an apekshika satvam sambhutehe apekshikam eva satvam evam maya nirmitasya eva jeevasya avidyaya pratyupasthapisasya avidyanashe swabhava nirupatvat paramarthatah konuyenam janaye the second line See here is what whatever I just said. Avidya pratyupasta pitasya jivasya. So the jiva is established by avidya. So avidya doesn't belong to jiva, but jiva is a product of avidya. Therefore, the root has to be cut. The root is avidya. and the jiva cannot be cannot cut the root because jiva is a product is on the tree it's a tree so you need something much more deeper to cut the roots tatah padam parimarkitavyam ashanga sastrena dridhena chitva that ashanga sastra is here in this case is ज्ञानमेंट independent means of knowledge so shrutyeva sharanah the person becomes takes refuge in shruti the shruti alone can liberate avidya anashe there is no other way so a pramana apeksha is is there without the shruti pramana a person cannot get liberated it is not possible okay so avidya nashe swabhava rupatvat paramarthatah konu enam janayet from this whole swabhava the swabha paramarthatah swabhava rupatvat it becomes one with its swabhava so where is the kistik who can create nahi rajwam We saw this example. Avidya dhyaropitam sarpam punar vivekatah nashtam janayet kaschiti. If suppose the snake which was there in the rope goes away, in the same rope again that snake cannot come at the same time because you just cleared it. Now will you ask next day? Maybe it will come. 
yeah next day with a different light in the same rope maybe you will see the snake again can that happen with brahman also today i became a jnani tomorrow again i get some other confusion no that's not possible in this case because the time space reality itself is dismissed and this jnanam once it happens it 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 is a permanent change because that jiva along with time space objects and the jivatvam everything is falsified it's all gone so there is no question of again error and all that here konu iti akshepartatvat karanam pratishidyate we saw that okay so because from this the karanatvam not just karyam jagate but karanam also is negated because when there is no karya there is no karana and shruti also is clearly saying there is no karanam shruti it is swarupa is neither karyam not karanam nor karanam therefore there is no srishti okay srishti is just used to show that all that is here is brahma avidyodbhutasya nashtasya janayitri karanam na kinchit asti iti abhipraya ha when the product is because of avidya only there is no real cause needed so ishvara apeksha itself is not there the ishwaratvam in brahma is only adhyastam nayam kutaschin na bhuva kaschititi shrute so we saw let's go to the next one sayesha neti neti iti vyakhyatam निन्हुते यहाग्राह्य भाव हेतु नाजम प्रकाशते नौ द क्वेश्चन कैन बी रेस्ड दट श्रुति आलो टाक्स अबउट मूर्तस्वूप अमूर्तस्वूप अंड आल दट इन ब्रजारण्य टीकाकारिंग व्याख्या मूर्ता मूर्ता त्याज्यम अग्राह्यम सो द श्रुति इट से दस व्याख्या आफ मूर्त द होल ब्रह्म इज इन द फॉर्म आफ मूर्त जगत एंड अमूर्त जगत आल दी थिंग्स विच आर हियर सो दट होल सृष्टि इन मेनी प्लेस सृष्टि स्पोकन अबउट तैत्री उपनिषद there is this panchakosha akasha dwayu who we have seen then sadeva saumya idam agrasi dekameva dvitiyam all this that also is some form of srishti then this murta roopa amurta roopa and all that srishti is spoken about in bradharanika so all these places it is spoken about but it also negates it after that that's what karika says सयेश नेतिनेती व्याख्या निष्णुते यख्या वाट एवर वाज टोल बै श्रुति दट इज दि अध्यारोप द होल जगत इज शोन एस प्रॉडक्ट आर् कार्य एफेक्ट आफ द काज विच इज ब्रह्म द काज इज ना आलवेज नॉन् सपरेट फ्रम दि एफेक्ट इज आलवेज नॉन् सपरेट फ्रम द काज कार्यम कारणेन और कारणात अनन्यति इट इज नॉट एवर सेपरेट फ्रॉम द कारणा व्हेन इट इज नॉन सेपरेट फ्रॉम द कारणा देन द कार्य बिकम्स एन एट्रिब्यूट ऑफ कारणा दैट इज द आइडिया सो व्हेन यू से एवरीथिंग इज अ कार्यम फॉर फ्रॉम अ कारणम व्हिच इज द ब्रह्मन देन व्हाट आर यू इंप्लाइंग एवरीथिंग हैज बिकम एन attribute of the same brahman visheshana visishtam that is visishta advaitam but then shruti doesn't stop there it goes and says but whatever is idam it is not neeti neeti na idam na idam then all the attributes name and form go away because they are not intrinsic or external attributes they are only as though seen what is left is only your own swarupa that is called adhyaropa apavada 
all these prakriyas are only adhyaropapada because it has to be negated. It is negated by the Shruti. Yeyesha neti neti ti vyakyadam nihnute dismissed. Yataha sarvam agrahya bhavena hetuna ajam prakashate sarvam agrahyam. Sarvam, all the grahyatvam is there in the buddhi for these things. But whatever grihyate, because this agrahyam is the word used by Shruti, no? and even here, Karikagara also, agrahyam he used in many places. Grahya, grahaka bhava. Therefore, this agrahyam is Brahma. That agrahya bhavena, the grahya bhava, is whatever is captured by your mind in the form of this cognition. Anything which is known in your mind through this cognition is grahya vastu. Vashigara says janimat buddhi vishayam. That which is created by the buddhi or the one which is available as an object in your buddhi Tadhetuna ajam prakashate, the unborn which is your surupa, that alone is agrahyam. Everything is grahyam in the buddhi. But what is, is you, which is your surupa, that alone is not by nature available to be objectified. That's why the person who, who says, who knows, doesn't know, is what Shruti says. Because knows means it is buddhi grahyam. So the buddhi grahyatvam itself is not there in surupa. And it is a way to reveal. Again, for you to know only it is said. To know what is Brahman, the statement that the one who says, knows, doesn't know, is a sentence told to reveal what is Brahman, then you have to know what it means. Otherwise, why would Shruti make a statement like that? Okay, so it's a, it's a thing to understand. It's a way, it's one of the ways of revealing what is Brahman. Otherwise, people will say, oh, Brahman is experience. Because the one who says knows, doesn't know, he is just read some book and talking. But Brahman needs to be experienced. Hey, experience also is to know. Okay, it's another experience. Experience, you know that experience. And that experience is known, then only you, are, you can say, I have an experience. Then, then how can the experience be the way to know Brahman? Anyway, so Sayeshaha, Sayesha neti neti iti vyakhyatam nishnute yataha, Sarvam agrahya vavena hetuna, ajam prakashate, ajam brahma prakashate. Vashya, Sarva visesha pratishedena, Athata adeshaha neti neti iti pratipaditasya atmanaha durbodhatvam manyamana shruti, punaf punaha. Upayantaretvena tasya eva pratipipada ishaya yedyad vyakhyatam tat sarvam nishnute yedyad vyakhyatam whatever it initially spoke about what murta murta di sarvam there is murta surupa amurta surupa like the amurtam is like akasha vayu and all these other things, the emotion, all these things are amurtam, intangibles. And murta, tangible, is spoken about in the, as the srishti, yad, yad vyakyatam sarvam nishnute, it negates all of them by neti neti. Why? Because pratipaditasya atmanaha, that which is spoken about this atma surupa, which is being spoken about, which is the intent to be revealed, pratipadanam, to show, to reveal or to know, or that which is, Shruti is trying to reveal, Durbodhattvam Manyamana Shruti. The, it may be difficult to cognize, because, why? Because it is not available for objectification. Therefore, Durbodham. Durbodham is, means not unknowable. Okay, Durbodham means difficult to know. Durbodhattvam, it is not easy because you are only used to knowing things which is objectifiable. That is your nature of knowing things. 
because all the time we only seek things which is available in the mind through a where you can grasp in the mind as a this okay that is but here the it is the surupa of the one who is trying to grasp therefore it is durbodham anything which you say immediately your mind goes and seeks what is that okay uh, in a this in the this fashion therefore pratipaditasya atmanah durbodhatvam manyamana shruti the shruti thinks okay it is not very easy therefore what does it do sarva vishesha pratishedena all the attributes it is dismissing by dismissing all attributes ata ata atah adesha neti neti naidam naidam that which is not this vishesham puna punah upayantaratvena so okay we have to understand it like this pratipaditasya atmanah durbodhatvam manyamana shrutihi punah punah upayantaratvena tasyaiva pratipipadi pipadaishaya yadyat vyakhyatam it spoke about it in many different ways many different things it is manifesting as all that that it tried to show in form of how the brahman is manifested everything it is negating sat sarvam nihnute it is dismissing all that by doing an apavada why is it dismissing every the everything in next line he says grahyam jenimad buddhi vishayam apalapati अर्थात सयेश नेति नेति इति आत्मनः अदृश्यताम दर्शयन्ति श्रुति हि अदर सो देयर मेनी थिंग्स इट ट्राई टू शो बट ऑल ऑफ देम इंडिविजुअली इट नेगेट्स सी दिस ब्रदर निका 3926 इट यूजेस न सयेश नेति नेति देन 424 Again, Sayesha Neti Neti. Already we saw 236 Sayesha Neti Neti. Then you have 4422, the same thing. And then 4525. Like that at five different places in different contexts, it is dismissing all the attributes. Idam. Atmanaha adrishyatam darshayanti shudihi. darshayanti is uh, adjective the shruti which is the one which is showing by what atmanah adrishyatam the atma being available for drishti as an object cognition or a this cognition grahyam jenimad buddhi vishayam apalapati it is dismissing atma being available as a buddhi jenimat the mentally cognizable in the form of this okay again the atma gnanam also is a vritti only but here this is that vritti is a different kind of vritti which you haven't seen this is a grahya buddhi grahya grahaka beda that is why when i say janati or the one who says aham veda there is a grahya grahaka bhava in that therefore it says that person does not know because the grahya grahaka is implied when somebody says that i know this okay so the that is what is meant that's why it is a sentence that we have to understand so that the brahma gnanam can take place otherwise that sentence is not necessary to be told by shastra उपाय से उपेय निष्ठताम अजानतः उपायत्वेन व्याख्यातस्य उपेयवत् ग्राह्यता माभूतिति 
ಅಗ್ರಾಹ್ಯ ಭಾವೇನ ಹೇತು ನ ಕಾರಣೇನ ನಿಹ್ನುತೆ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಹಿ ಸಮರೈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಉಪಾಯ ಉಪೇಯ ನಿಷ್ಠತಾಂ ಅಜಾನತ ಫಾರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಇಗ್ನರೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವೈ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಉಪಾಯ ಉಪಾಯ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಉಪಾಯ ಎ ವೇ ಟು ಟೀಚ್ ಸಮಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಬೇಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಇಯರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಇಯರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಬೇಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ರೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಂಬಲ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆನ್ ಸಮಿಂಗ್ so what does the mother do she'll come and beat the floor hey why did you do this to the baby then the baby feels okay there's somebody who is there to protect okay though there is no protection in the mother's hand only is aching okay but there is a upaya it is an upaya a way to make the child feel secure that's all it just needs to know that okay there is somebody to secure me okay that is all that is called a upaya a way by which an upaya is achieved the sense of security is achieved with the child similarly here there is a upaya that is srishti upaya srishti vada is a upaya upayasya upeya nishtatam ajanata without when somebody doesn't understand that the nishta for the upaya is in the upaya the intent of this particular technique or methodology is not the methodology itself but the intent for which the methodology is being used the objective that is upaya ಉಪಾಯ ಉಪೇಯ ನಿಷ್ಠತಾಂ ಅಜಾನತ ಪೀಪಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಉಪಾಯತ್ವೇನ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾತ ವೆನ್ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಎ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾನ ಎ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ನರೇಷನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಉಪಾಯ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಉಪೇ ಫಾರ್ ಗೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಉಪೇಯ ಬಟ್ people what are they doing upayatvena vyakyatasya upa upeyavat grahyata ma bud me people may take it as the upaya the shruti wants to say that the srishti has really taken place because shruti is a pramana it has to reveal something that you don't know therefore it is because we are not in a position to know that srishti whether it has taken place or not so shruti is telling a new thing that srishti has really taken place there is a creator who is in vaikuntha or kailasa or in heaven or in golok brindavan somewhere and that person has created this that how will i know because that uh, bhagavan has in come and shown that how did i create he, he or she didn't come and tell me so only way to know is to shruti which is pramana therefore the creation is true is what is revealed being revealed by shruti somebody may take so upayatvena vyakyatasya upeyavat grahyata ma bhut may that not happen iti agrahya bhavena hetuna karanena nihnute ityartah okay so the het the shruti is negating that whatever is grahyam whatever is seen as a tangible thing that is there is actually non existing it is agrahyam agrahyam is brahma only but brahm whatever is seen as the grahya is actually agrahya brahma agrahya here agrahya bhavena hetuna in the form of saying naidam naidam is that means you are saying it is agrahyam that which is not available for objectification that by by saying that it is dismissing it dismissing what the upaya becoming an upaya 
So all the upayas are being dismissed because otherwise people may take it as a upaya. Therefore, it is Shruti itself is explicitly dismissing whatever was spoken about as Brahman, as a murta, amurta, and all that. Tatascha evam upayasya upaya nishtatam eva janataha upayasya cha nitya eka rupatvam iti tasya sabahi abhyantara majam atmadatvam prakashate swayam eva. So prakashate means Bhashikara adds swayam eva prakashate. You don't need it to be Available for drishti. Grahiyatvam is not needed because it is grahakas surupa. You don't need any grahanam. Tatascha evam upayasya upaya nishtatam eva janataha. Upayasya upaya nishtatam eva janataha. So, all the time we have this habit of only looking at things which are available for objectification. However, here, Nitya Eka Rupatvam Upayasya. That which alone is there has to be only you. If there is only one thing, it has to be you, no? Only if there is a second thing, it, there can be a non you. If there is only one thing, you have to be there. It is very simple. There is no big logic needed. How can there be a one thing without it being you? Then what? <laughs> if it is only an object, if there is no subject, an object cannot exist without a subject. You can understand that object means it is dependent on the subject. Very simple. Otherwise, an object existence is not is it not a reality? A yes, subject has to be there for an object to be there. Correct? So, at the minimum, one subject has to be there. Without that, any object is not possible. So, if there is only one thing, it has to be the subject. It can never be the object. Okay? Therefore, if the Advayam means, the Ekarupa means only you. Nitya Eka Rupasya. Nitya means it, time is also dependent on the same subject. Again, time doesn't exist without a subject. Simple. Space doesn't exist without a subject. Where is the space without a subject? It is all in subject's cognition only. Nitya Eka Rupatvamiti Tasya Sabahya Abhyantara Majam Atmadattvam Prakashate Swayameva Okay. That Swayameva Prakashate, after this Neti Neti, it doesn't need to be an object. Because all objects, even if they are there, are illuminated only by subject. However, object, you can't, any part of an object is cognized without the subject. In fact, all that is there as object is only subject. Because the Astitvam and Banatvam both are lent by the subject Surupa. Therefore, Sayesha Neti Neti Iti Vyakhyadam Nihnute Yataha Sarva Magrahya Bhavena Hetuna Ajam Prakashita. So the Ajam can, the Prakash, see Ajam is all the time, this Brahma only is Prakashita. But I see many things. Therefore, Shastra first uh, makes you recognize that the many things are like attributes to the subject because the subject and the object are all the time together. Okay, that is how it starts and then it shows. In fact, there is nothing called object because all that is there is only subject. It is only as though you are saying because it can neither be intrinsic or extrinsic to the subject. Like the pot in the clay. Therefore, Sadeva Satyam. Om Pur Namadaf Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namadachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaja Pur Nameva Vasishate Om Shanti 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 
हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम धन्यवाद गुरुजी धन्यवाद धन्यवाद